So they used yeah. to have a chocolate frosty, right? Right. Yes, that's still because we didn't mention. We, you're right. That one. Great question. You know, I mean, that's more research. That's fine, but but the strawberry. Yes, mommy. Yum. Uh, I want more. No. No. All right. So we'll make on day. It's a double day. We'll bring Charlene whenever she wants. But we're going. All right. Here's what's going on outside right now. We've got the sun's getting ready to come up, and we've got a beautiful morning. It's just that we add clouds as we go through the day. We've got to start talking about some rain that gets in the uh, way here for a couple of days in and out. So 64 degrees is where we are right now. I apologize for this. I'm going to push it as hard as I can. 56 degrees toward Poughkeepsie. Mm -hmm. 64 in White Plains. 61 in Islip right now. 64 in Central Park. So that's mm -hmm. a big difference in the five boroughs, but we're all above the 60 degree mark, which makes it a lot more comfortable as we start this morning than the past few mornings. And again, it's bright and beautiful. Our mess is off to the north and northwest, so northwestern areas will catch some of this first. Eastern areas actually get a chance to have a little bit brighter day, a little bit longer as we go through the day today. And you can see there's not much in the way, just a few passing clouds very early this morning. So let's run the future cast and we'll show you what it looks like. Clouding it up as we go through the day during the day today. More clouds west, a few clouds east. It'll take some time to catch it up. But about four, five, six, and seven, we start to see mm. showers back off to the west, making their way in more in northwestern areas than just about anywhere else. So you can see there's a little heavier rain activity here in Sullivan, Ulster, Orange counties as well, Pike County. So that tends to be where the heavier rain will be. Some light and scattered showers will make it even through the city. As you go through the night into the day tomorrow, you can see how we split the area with some scattered showers around during the day on Wednesday. But Wednesday ends up to be a fairly mm. nice afternoon. Starts a little wet for the first part of the morning, dries out in the afternoon. It is Wednesday night and Thursday morning when a low develops along that front and drives the heaviest rain through here. Thursday morning's drive time could be a little tough. Let's show you how this all looks. So here's the warm front that pushes all of that action through. Cold front gets close to the area and then just kind of stalls out. A little area of low pressure runs along and that means Thursday morning we could be soaked with more than an inch of rain in our drive. It again is an unfortunate time because it's going to slow down the commute on Thursday morning because everyone's having to drive through and slow down that rain. But Friday pulls out very nicely with that area of high pressure. So as we go through the day uh, today, hour by hour, beautiful morning out there. It really is one of the nicest around. And then as you start to get through the afternoon, you're going to look up and say, hey, there's a few extra clouds. The other thing you're going to notice is we're staying a little cooler on the temperature because of all of that. Air quality is good today. UV index is an 8. Pollen count is moderate to high. And there's a little bit of grasses and some trees that are popping there. Winds are south at about 8 to 16 miles per hour. Our waters are still a little complicated. And that rip risk is high. There's actually advisories and watches and warnings out for the area on the coast because we've got that departing tropical system. 78 degrees, clouds later today. Mostly cloudy, breezy, and humid. Just a few scattered showers at about 66 overnight. 82 degrees during the day tomorrow. It starts out nice, finishes out wet. Remember, Thursday morning is our wet drive time in. Good morning, Heather O'Rourke. Good morning, Sam Champion. Let's talk about the Deegan. We have an accident. It's going out to the southbound side, getting into Fordham Road. So expect some delays as you make your way to that spot. But the Cross Bronx Expressway is an absolute mess as you go westbound towards the George Washington Bridge. This is because they are in the process of clearing that construction on the span. F trains switch problem at 21st Street. So you can expect delays in both directions. Newark to World Trade Center, we had a problem on the path trains. That's running on our clothes. No major issues on New Jersey Transit, Long Island Brand Railroad. Metro North Street cleaning rules mm. are in effect. Charlene and Candace, over to you. All right.